<laughs> you laughing? Why are you laughing then? Because last oh, year oh, I sorry. bet Erling Holland and I didn't think twice about it. Uh, yeah, and don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, my cute. mistake. Go on, mate. I tried to get cute and didn't bet him. I know, but the big thing, it was like minus 200 before we even started. And anyway, sorry, I've just jumped because obviously we had a bit of a power cut and that obviously uh, got to my brain. And yeah, Harry says stay off the drink flash. Maybe he's talking about my former pick. Now, here we go to be relegated. Leicester, minus 275, but Leicester have had that a pre because they basically, and this is the weird thing, they got charged with Premier League failings while they was in the championship. How they weren't even in the Premier League. So what the Premier League getting involved in? Real mess up there. Southampton, minus 175, were plus 195 when these numbers first come out. Now, Southampton not scored a goal. Three, point, uh, three out of three losses. They're now minus 175. Ipswich at minus 110. So this is who goes through the trap door. Any of the big numbers that you like there, Brad? Um, yeah, so... First, let's talk about these big prices on some of the guys. I couldn't quite go with uh, Wolves. I, I don't know. I think I've seen enough out of Wolves where I think they'll be safe. Um, I, I was leaning Everton, right? But I do fear that if you bet Everton now, like if you want to bet Everton, you have to bet them now. Because if Everton drop another match, they're going to fire Sean Dyche. And we all know what happens that week yeah. or the next week after they bring in a new manager. You get that new manager bump. They're probably going to get three points. And... Everton are opening a new stadium, right? The longest tenured Premier League team, uh, current Premier League team, opening a new stadium. They are going to figure out, no matter what they have to do, the dark arts magic, they're going to find a way to stay up. Uh, with the, the shorter prices, I did go with Southampton. My problem with Southampton is where are the goals coming from? Uh, Russell has them playing this kind of like verbose style where, um, how do I describe it? They leave themselves like kind of open to get destroyed where it, even when they're sitting like deeper they're still trying they're still stretching their midfield okay here's a better example it's kind of like them setting up like a mid block right instead of fully com instead of fully committing to sitting deep which basically gives more spaces for uh players to get that to get in in between the lines and shoot 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 sure if you're not going to concede a ton of goals i think they've only conceded like seven goals or four goals excuse me but one of the games they played, they were a man up for basically the whole match. The other game they played against Forrest, who took like 30 shots and didn't convert. That's going to start to add up. Those shots are going to turn into goal conversions, and they're going to get behind the eight ball pretty fast. And then who's going to score the goals for them? Uh, ben Brereton? No. The dude is only good for hitting the frame but not finding the back of the net. I I'm really afraid for them when one of their leading shot takers is a defender and um, – defender midfielder you know what i mean uh, and walker peters you're you're in trouble right like it goes yeah they're in the, trouble they're in trouble time. i took i took the plus 195 in june as soon as them fixtures come out i was like oh my god a plus 195 they don't score goals and they're no. not good enough at the back neither i mean i think hipswich have showed really good i'm going to be getting involved Ipswich are going to be completely basically disrespected leicester have goals in them so at minus 275. But Wolves, Forest, Brentford and Fulham, they're almost cemented into the Premier League for me. Wolves, yep. very, very tough side, will score goals. Forest at home are a match for anyone. You saw all the big guns go to Forest last year and struggle. And only like they needed 100 minutes to get the winner. Brentford, pace, power, organisation and win their home games. Fulham, home or away they will pick up points so yep. the only guarantee I've got on that whole page is Southampton at minus 175 agree yeah uh, that's for me as well um, I, and I actually was kind of shocked to see Leicester City uh, sitting at the price they were I probably would take Leicester City if they were a better price but Leicester City are interesting I think it's Steve Cooper I still have a little bit of faith in him knowing how to get this team uh, to stay up, right? They're not going to be a team who's going to flirt anywhere with the top half, but I think they'll do enough to stay up. They already got, uh, they already won one point this year. Arguably yeah. could have been on two. I mean, on three, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I think Leicester City stay up. And then Ipswich, like you said, will be disrespected. Um, and I don't have any sleeper to go down, right? I feel like this no. is another good. Who did you have? No, no, I'm, I'm Southampton all the way. But you know what yep. this all indicates? When you look at all this, you've got to look at the indications. And the indications are that 
you're probably going to need 40 points to stay up because Fulham, Brentford, Forest, Wolves, they will all get to 40. So basically, it's three from four. Leicester, the Southampton are gone for me. I'm not even interested. And if someone wants to throw egg at me, uh, come May, so be it. But I was jumped all over Southampton at plus 195. More than happy for Southampton to go down at minus 175 and maybe put them in a parlay. But Everton at plus 160 over Ipswich or Leicester, any two from three. And what I've seen from Everton so far is they're garbage. And they play Villa next week and they will get beat three or four again next week so Everton's the one that plus 160 but the banker has got to be Southampton at minus 175 let's have a little look at the official picks of oh we've both gone Southampton minus 175 so let's